in an academics clone. Who? Flacco. This episode is brought to you by Pacifico. Chubby, short, claims to have a 10-inch dick. Um, he Have you taken that out? I haven't seen it, but he, he says this. He, like, as soon as I met him, I thought he was really fucking talented, but, like, he literally grew up in your fucking chat. Like, he... Oh, that's what's up. Like, he has, chat like, nigga? his speech patterns and shit are, are weirdly similar to yours. Perfect. And, like, a lot of people, like, have commented and being like, why are you just, like, getting a fake academics? And it's like, well... I do agree that he's might have been a little too and he's asked me, he's like, How do I get past that? Like how do I get people to stop saying that? And I'm like, you just keep doing content and you're gonna find your own voice for sure more and more over time, you know, which is kinda like the Charlemagne thing. It's like yeah. I think a lot of people who are young and talented, you can see their influences too much with rappers too. Sometimes I'll see somebody and think, This guy sounds way too much like young boy. But the reality is, is that you give him like two years of development and maybe he takes all the good things that he took from listening to young boy nonstop as a kid. And then he adds his own flair as he becomes more and more of his own person. And hey, it's let me tell you this. Mm. The, the biggest challenge of everything is that um, even when Charlemagne said that to me. Um, the bigger overall picture was that. It's not that I couldn't stay around. You weren't going to last. Like there is a Charlemagne. You can't be Charlemagne better than Charlemagne. Mm. And for me, it was just like, if you're talented, yeah, you might take some things from him, but mm. you're gonna have to make this new thing that you are. Mm. And um, I, I, I think that goes for everybody. Like I, I remember listening to Trippy when he just 